Hey guys, so I'm gonna, it's crunch time. Well, not really crunch time yet, but I wanna get this done. It's getting to be time we get ready for going to the duct tape drags in Tucson. So we're gonna, at least I'm going to, I'm working on a couple things today. So I've got the El Camino up on the, up on the lift. I've got a new transmission pan for it. I got this one here. It's from Speedmaster. I got this one from Speedmaster. It's an aluminum pan, a little bit deeper, not very deep. It's just a little deeper and it's got a drain plug and it's got finned, little aluminum fins, help it cool a little. So he came with a nice, nice silicone gasket that has metal inlay in it to hold it in shape and it came with brand new bolts too i'm not sure where i put those oh here they are no nope, that's the washers i don't know i found bolt uh, the bolts are here oh here they are so these are the brand new allen head bolts that came with and then I'm going to step up the stall converter speed. So right now, right now I've got a, right now I've got a stall converter of, it says between 22 to 25, I think. That's what's in it right now. I'm stepping up to a 32 to 3,500. Uh, get my RPM a little higher so we can get this thing to launch a little harder out of the hole. It comes on pretty quick. It really does, but. I need it to be a little higher RPM on launch. It just, it, it pulls out and then the boost hits after 60 feet. So the boost really hits hard after I get to 60 feet. So I need it to hit sooner. So we're gonna put the new converter in it. And first thing I'm gonna do is drop the pan and I'll put the new pan on it. Then we'll get the transmission jack under it and pull the transmission out. So. I'm going to get started on that. Get the transmission jack under here and I'll get my drain pan on top of it. I think we'll drain the fluid into it. All right guys, so we got the pan off. There is a little material in it. Not gonna lie. Um, but we're just gonna sand it anyways and see how long it lasts. There's a little clutch material in here. I mean, if there was a magnet in here, which there should be, but I don't have one. Um, there's a little material. There's a, right there where it comes out of that one spot, but I mean, definitely some material, but the transmission was still working perfectly. There was no slippage. It was still shifting crisp and smooth. So we're just going to put a new pan on it and fill it with fluid and hope for the best. Maybe we will end up having to put another transmission in it. But as for right now, we're going to put this pan on it and then we'll pull the tranny out and put a new torque converter in it so 
Here we go. Hey, torque converter. And now we got another one. I gotta put some fluid in it. So, we'll set that there. See, I'm using. Amsoil Signature Series Multi Vehicle Full Synthetic. Uh, been working good in it so far. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep using it. So, Put that open and we'll start pouring some fluid in this thing. A little bit of a slow process. I should have been doing it already, but what we'll do is we'll put this other torque converter in this box. We'll save it for a future project or maybe my Okay guys, I got the torque converter full of fluid. Got a storm rolling in. It might get a little loud with the wind or with the rain beating down on the metal shop. But we're gonna slide a torque converter in, start putting it up, transmission back up in, we'll get after it. Got all the clicks in. So, nice little small torque converter. We're gonna start putting it in now. Put the transmission back up in. Slide this forward.
all three tight, all three bolts are tight. Now, let's get this cable. Okay, now get the drive line in. Okay, those are tight. Now we'll put this transmission shifter back in. I think we're done underneath here. Time to lower it down, put some fluid in it. Put it down. Let's see what that does.
it doesn't feel any looser. That, uh, that torque converter doesn't feel any looser than the other one. But it's supposed to be, that's what the specs say, is it's a 3200 to 3500, and it's coming in just as early as the 22 to 2400. I don't know what's going on. It's hard in here too because it's a smooth floor and I'm not getting good traction on the ground to hold it from moving. So, I don't know. Might have to, the problem is now the road's all wet from the rain. I'm gonna have to probably wait till tomorrow to test it anymore. So, we'll probably see you tomorrow and we'll go try and test it on the road and see if it see if I can hold it back I'm I don't want I don't have the money to spend on a transmission with a trans brake or buy the stuff to put a trans brake in this one I think if I just put a trans brake in this one I'm gonna break something so I need to save some money I guess but tomorrow we'll go testing we'll go take it down the road tomorrow and see if it acts any different see if I can hold it on the line a little better and it'll probably get better as the transmission gets hotter it might slip a little more um, I don't know we're gonna have to see what it does tomorrow since there's too much water on the road but I need my own little test track <laughs> all right guys sorry it's been a couple days battery died on the camera and i just we just kept working tried to get some stuff done we're pretty much ready for tucson so a couple more odds and ends things and we'll get them finished up and we'll see you guys at the duct tape drags in tucson dragway so here's the vet cart we got the engine all back together so the engine we set, we've put bearings in it, and we put a, I think we did a two thousandths undersized bearing in the number eight connecting rod. So that connecting rod, it spun a bearing, and I showed you guys that. I don't think I showed you the bearing. So there's... There's the bearing. And so it they grabs a bearing and pulls it up on top of the other bearing and then they end up on top of each other and then it oblongs the rod just a little bit and wears on the crank. So around to get around that is we bound it on the rain main cap or the rod cap, spread it out just a little bit to get the bearing to sit in it properly. Uh, we put a high volume oil pump in it and then we put 2050 VR1 racing oil and added a bottle of STP uh, STP oil treatment. So that thick honey stuff, yeah. So we got good thick oil pressure now. And then I got the I got all of the uh, fuel lines done so you can see here I got a nice steel braided line there and down here that goes over to the frame and is hooked to the frame the factory steel line so that's just hooked to the factory steel line uh, this morning I went through and I put brand new radiator hoses on it upper and lower the other day I noticed that the on the lower radiator hose on the lower hose when I was revving it up <coughs> so the other day on the on the El Toro the El Camino the lower radiator hose when I would rev it up I could watch the hose squishing so it was like sucking flat and turning into like a wave inside that bottom hose so that means the hose is really soft and doesn't have a spring in it to hold it strong. So I changed the both the upper and lower hoses. Uh, 
I drained all the antifreeze out of it and then put water back in it. Flushed the antifreeze out and just put water in it. So in case of a leak on the drag strip, it's just water evaporates really fast. Nobody has to deal with the antifreeze on the track. So I don't think we'll have a problem, but just in case. So other than that, the only other thing I did do, so I used to have, I had these, a lot of people always put air shocks on the rear ends so they can adjust it. Well, air shocks kind of screw up your suspension. It makes it so they don't grab very well. So I had these, they're a spring overload heavy duty spring shock to give it some extra lift well i did that because the tires used to hit the inner fenders so now instead of having the inner fenders hit the tires i i opened it up so i slit i slit this lip every couple inches pounded it up into the fender well so i have no contact here i got tons of room and then it can lower and it can do all the things it needs to and then it sits a little more level i'm hoping that with the rear end a little lower it'll help it weight transfer i've never i've only had it spin a couple times when i put the drag radials on but I don't want it to spin at all. I really want it to just, I've never been able to leave under hard boost, like really launch hard. So now with the higher stall converter and the two step that I can launch at 3000 RPM, where before I couldn't launch above 2400. So I'm up in my power I'm hoping it'll launch a lot harder, so I need that tire to stick. So I'm really hoping, I would love to see the front tire off the ground. I would love to see one tire come up. I would love that. I don't know if it'll happen, but I'm really hopeful. The other thing is I'm really hoping to see a 10 this year. I haven't really changed much on the car, but I'm really hoping to see a 10. So time will tell. Today is Tuesday, the week the we in this three days in three days is we'll be in tucson so we're gonna leave early thursday morning get to flagstaff probably hopefully flagstaff and then on friday morning we'll wake up and get the rest of the way to tucson so we can get there a decent time get a spot get all set up and be ready to race so jake is bringing the mail jeep too He's been doing a few odds and ends things on it to get it ready to go. And we should be ready. We should be all set to go. Uh, on the vet cart, on the vet cart, well, I think all we have left, so I just welded in a harness bar. So the harness bar is in, it's got a brand new windshield. It has a plastic brake booster and it had a, a big hole in it. I don't know how it got a hole in the plastic brake booster, but leave it to give GM to try and put a stupid plastic brake booster on to save some weight. But yeah, it's got a hole in it. It had a hole in it. We RTV'd it. So it had a big hole. It had a big hole right here. Had a great big hole. It's still a little soft, but it is set up in the brakes or much better it also had a crack right here you might could see that crack just a hair but i put a little bit of rtv in that crack so now it's got good brakes the brake booster is actually working now the only other thing that i think we need to do on this car is we just got to seal up a couple of holes in the firewall Fill, fill in those holes and we should be good and we got tires so trapper found some used tires 
on the Facebook Marketplace. They look like really nice tires. They're in really good shape. They're only a few years old. The guy said he had them on a had them on a Corvette that he was doing some like autocross on them. He said they only had about four or five heat cycles on them, and they're really not even worn. To, there's one tire that has a little more wear than the rest. Put it on the back. Other than that, we're ready to go. <laughs> I like this. Look at our our belt tensioner. <laughs> Hardware store. Built a belt tensioner out of a turnbuckle from the hardware store. Works though. Even with this really long stretch belt here, it stays straight, it true, it charges good. If we can rev it to five, six, I don't know, I think we've revved it to six grand a couple times. Belt stays on, we're good to go. Stays cool. And this is the our firewall back here had some aluminum diamond plate. So we put some, built a firewall, we got the fuel cell. I think we're ready to go. So the inside of the car, we gotta clean it out. There's still some junk in here, but we'll get it all cleaned out and we're gonna get everything loaded on Wednesday night. So tomorrow night, everything's getting loaded. Everything's getting loaded Wednesday night so we can hit the road Thursday morning. So we will see you guys there. Hopefully, uh, if you want to chat with us, come check, check us out. We'll be there, three vehicles. And yeah, thanks for watching. It's kind of a weird video. Lots of time's gone by between all the stuff I've done on it, but we're gonna get this, I'm gonna try and get this edited and put up before we head out. And then the next video will be about us at Dragway, at Tucson Dragway at the duct tape drags. Thanks for watching, appreciate you. And we will be giving out a whole bunch of stickers if they show up. I need to check on those. We're supposed to get another like thousand stickers that I can give away. I go, we did get. Uh, another hat so I changed it up a little bit we did just the tire and these are the Richardson 112 snapbacks if you want a hat hit us up uh, we'll basically sell it to you for cost at this point we just need to get our name out there and we appreciate it thanks